Uh, I just think we just fell out of a rhythm, really. Um, we tried to get things going again, and we got a little bit of a tempo, but we just kept making – it was just too many mistakes on our end of the ball. I mean, like AJ said, I feel like we made a lot of mistakes. And, you know, in football, stuff isn't always going to go your way, and today it just didn't go our way. You know, they capitalized off our mistakes, and, you know, kudos to them for that. AJ, what did you see on it's? We haven't seen an uh, explosive run play the first two games. You got one right out the, the, the gate. Just what, what did you see on that play? I mean, we got some good blocks, and this week we emphasized getting up to the next level in the run game with our blocks, and that's exactly what happened in that second run, and I was able to break for it. I know you had the long punt return. Just what, what did you see on that play? How did that play unfold in front of you? Um, I mean, he outkicked his coverage, and I mean, we knew all week that he was going to do that. So, you know, my guys blocked, blocked it up perfectly. Manny Powell, he had a great block, and you know, all I had to do was run. That was a tough loss, but you got four really tough games here. None of them in Fayetteville coming up. Just how tough was this one, and how do you guys respond? Do you think with this tough stretch, y'all have come back? Maybe AJ could take that first. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, this game was tough. But like I said, we made too many mistakes and other things we're going to get to fixing like, as soon as we get out of here. So, I mean, these these next few games are going to be tough as well, but we're not going to make those same mistakes. So, I mean, we can still make it a, a good game for the next four games that we have. You know, just take stuff week by week. We got LSU, that's all we're focused on. We're not focused on the other teams right now. And, you know, we just need to clean up mistakes and just play our brand of football. I'm playing midfield. Um, How do you think that swung momentum looking back on it? Because BYU ended up out. Now they only got a field goal off that uh, possession, but they ended up out scoring y'all 17 to nothing. Did you feel like a big momentum swing when they when they stopped y'all there? I mean, it was like it was a good thing for them, but I didn't really feel the momentum shift at that moment because I felt like we were still playing like super hard as a team and as soon as we lost the next drive from more mistakes then they went off and scored then that's when I felt the moment of change I mean it's never a good thing to not get a fourth down conversion you know obviously if we would have got that maybe things would have been different but you know it's just part of the game you only had nine threes. How do you feel physically? Could you did you think you had some more in the tank there for in the in the fourth quarter? Uh, I definitely did, but I mean, we just had other looks. Like the defense was playing great on the run, and we just had other plans. I mean, we didn't really think about just running the ball. We were just trying to get down the score at that point, so that wasn't really anything that was running through my mind. But I just. Wish we went down and won the game. Again, the penalties were called on, on YouTube specifically, but a lot of offensive penalties, you know, it negated big plays, put you all pretty far behind the chains. Just how, how tough was it to overcome those penalties? It was tough for our offense because once we were getting momentum and getting our tempo and playing fast like we usually do, and then a penalty would stop our momentum and we have to slow everything down just to get set back up and move the ball back. Uh, that just killed our momentum, like I said. Um, when we're able to just run the ball and get down, run the next play, throw the ball out, get down, run the next play, it, it kills teams because they never have enough time to get set up and know what's coming and be prepared for it. AJ, hey, you were here last year when you won uh, in Provo. What were they doing differently this year on defense that was giving them more problems? I would say it was just – I feel like some of those players like have more experience now and they knew more about us. I felt like they took us more serious than they did last year and they came ready for the game. On that, that penalty question about a tougher was to overcome those. I mean, I feel like penalties hurt us in the second half. Uh, every time, I mean, I felt like every time we had a big play, it got called back. So we just got to clean that up. And move on and learn from it. Um, he's by nature a pretty positive guy. I think. What What was his message to y'all after the game? I mean, we all knew we should have won that game, and 
you know, I feel like penalties is one of the things that kind of hurt us. And I mean, he was just telling us we need to play smarter ball. And, you know, we played hard. So we just got to clean up our mistakes. For either of you, it seemed like Luke has had a, a pretty big game for y'all, kind of his coming out party. What, what did y'all think of his performance? I think that's definitely going to be a weapon that we need to tap in more on because it's just going to open up more for our passing game because people are going to actually have to cover a tight end, which is not really like something that's usually done a lot. And like I said, it'll open up more for passing game and running game, really. I mean, everybody on the team knows what Luke's capable of. Uh, he just has to show it to the world right now. I mean, we've seen him in practice make some crazy catches. And, you know, he's going to have a big year this year for us.